launched the Udan scheme. You see how how the aviation sector has become accessible to the to the people of the country, to the common man. The number of we are the third largest domestic aviation market in the world today. And the number of domestic passengers has increased nearly two and a half times since UPA lost power, since we took, took over from uh, UPA. It was 60 million pass domestic passengers, which has increased at its peak to 143 million passengers. So that is the kind of a massive quantum jump that you have seen in the domestic aviation passenger size. And international passengers also, from 43 million in 2014, at its peak it has jumped to 64 million. So there is a 50% rise even in the international passengers. This tells you what has been achieved in a span of just nine and a half years. We have been able to we have been able to expand aviation market and make travel accessible to the common man. The number of aircrafts in the country has increased from 400 to 723. So it's almost a, a 300. It's, it's almost a 78 percent, 80 percent increase over a span of nine years. The number of airports, which was 74, has expanded to. 150, including uh, the helicopter and the water aerodromes, the number of landing points has increased to 150, and the target is to take this to 220 in a manner of uh, one to two years. So this is taking aviation closer to the people, ensuring connectivity to all the regions in the country, where, uh, whereas earlier it was limited to the major cities. In the northeastern region, which had really serious connectivity problems, the number of airports has increased from 9 to 17. So every state is now connected, and, and remotest regions even in the northeast are connected. Number of new, four new international airports have been added during the tenure of Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. So